So go and check it out yourself, but if you would like me to make a part two, Moment high, moment high. All right, I get the message. You want a video on 10 more non-Zero 2 Digimon who can armor Digivolve, and I'm happy to oblige. What is up everybody? Welcome to another video. Thank you for tuning in and thank you so much for asking for part two. Holy moly. The topic of Armadage Evolution has always been fascinating to me, so it's really encouraging to see so many people sharing that passion and wanting to learn more. So without further ado, let's get on with the list. All right, so I want to give some honorable mentions and spoilers for Digimon Adventure 2020. Skip to this timestamp if you don't want to be spoiled. Recently, some Armor Digimon have showed up in Digimon Adventure 2020. Obviously, first of all, it started with Pegasusmon. Patamon becoming Pegasusmon for no discernible reason. Then we had Chumon becoming Searchmon simply because it just resonated with Izzy. It thought Izzy was super cool, apparently. And his crest impacted on Chumon and it became Searchmon. And then two episodes ago, because Etamon and Volcamon were causing a ruckus that disrupted the data of all the Digimon around them, but specifically Palmon, who became Ponchomon. Now, none of these are technically armored Digivolutions at this point. Ponchomon, Searchmon, and Pegasusmon are all armored Digimon, but the actual Digivolution process that became them, as far as we know right now, is not armored Digivolution. It's possible later on that in a Zero Two reboot or later on in the season, we might find out that these environmental factors also had something to do with the crests and the Digimentals, and there is something going on there. But as of right now, these are just armored Digimon who Digivolve normally. I still think they there should be more to it because they're using a lot of armor Digimon tied to crests for no particular reason, but I know the angry little incels in my comments who tell me I don't understand Digivolution are pleased to know I do understand that these aren't armor Digivolution, at least right now. Oh, also, do you like my Terriamon hat? My mum made it. <laughs> Alright, but enough honorable mentions, you're here for actual armor Digivolution, I can see the glimmer in your eye, so let's begin by talking about Wizardmon. Yeah, I didn't include Wizardmon on the last list just because I thought it was a little bit more obvious, but I do like that Wizardmon with the digi egg of courage can become flame wizardmon i mean do i need to explain this one wizardmon plus fire flame wizardmon but interestingly with the digi egg of sincerity he can also become ponchomon and again this makes sense to me wizardmon's cape becoming a poncho the togemon elements wizardmon has got a kind of mystical death related stuff to him and wizardmon is actually a special case because wizardmon digivolves from these digimon in digimon collectors and digimon world dx i almost kind of wish that they'd have just done flame wizardmon but for all the eggs just for wizardmon like lightning wizardmon grass wizardmon <laughs> hopeful wizardmon hopeful that he doesn't get fucking killed am i right <laughs> all right next up we got a tufa and that is Hagurumon and solomon who both are digivolve in the card game but they don't actually armor digivolve into the same digimon which i think is pretty cool Hagurumon with the digi egg of destiny becomes kongomon in the card game and i don't hate this but i don't love it either so kongomon is a big golden beetle right okay it makes a ton of sense for a destiny digivolution I'd have liked to see more of it, specifically like Wormon becoming Kongomon, maybe with the Digi Egg of Destiny. But for Hagurumon, it just feels a little bit weird. Where does the bug elements come from here, you know? The Digi Egg of Destiny is not bug related. I, I just don't get where Kongomon comes from here, other than like, well, we need a golden Digimon, so let's use Kongomon. But then interestingly, Solomon becomes Kenkimon with the Digi Egg of Friendship in both the card game, and he can also regularly Digivolve, I think, in Digimon Soul Chaser, which is a Korean mobile RPG. I haven't played it. Info is lacking, but he can at the very least become Kenkimon in that game. I'm not sure whether it's an armor Digivolution. This makes more sense to me. Kenkimon apparently is just super tied to the Digi Egg of Friendship. I can't find any reason for that in his design, but it's just, yeah, he's just like the mechanical friendship Evo. Maybe the team of builders working together it's a stretch it's a stretch the only real thing i can think is that maybe lightning elements of the digi egg of friendship are kind of like it's more like electricity mechanical making things move through electricity but that really does feel like a stretch to me but that's all i can think of this to me makes sense solomon being the Hagurumon variant becoming kenkimon they're all mechanical there's cogs there's gears there's electricity i think this one's one of the stronger ones next up we just have just whatever the fuck like whoever decided this was gonna happen was just like Okay, here's the plan. We take the little Lego Agu on, no, not the Lego one, the invisible Lego one, and we digital him into the peacock. 
any Digimon can become any Digimon, right? And that is that specifically clear Agumon, and bear in mind Toy Agumon and Black Toy Agumon don't armor Digivolve, can armor Digivolve into Elephantmon or Peacockmon with the Digi-Egg of Miracles and Maeldramon with Destiny. Now I can see Maeldramon with the Digi-Egg of Destiny, it's a little bit more out there, it's not golden armor, but there's some golden parts to Maeldramon, I'm, I'm okay with that. Elephantmon and Peacockmon? <laughs> <laughs> the Digi Egg of Mir You got like Magnamon, you know? This big golden armor, and then you got fucking Elephant Mon and Peacock Mon. Like, I mean, yeah, sure. It can happen, I guess. Then next, I actually touched upon this in the first part, but kind of glossed over it. But that is that there are actually quite a few X antibody Digimon who can armor Digivolve. And I kind of brushed this by because a lot of them it tends to be that if the original version can armor Digivolve, the X antibody armor Digivolves into the same Digimon. But actually, it's kind of weird, right? This is one of the those times that people talk about. I've had people in my comments asking me if hypothetically the biomerged Digivolutions from Tamers could Digivolve further. We know that those Digimon, Gallantmon, etc., have form changes and stuff, right? But we haven't seen the example of when they merge with the Tamers children if they could DNA Digivolve or anything like that. The most we got is kind of when Gallantmon gets Granny and becomes Crimson Mode. I and so this, an X antibody armor digivolving, feels like one of those like what if scenarios, but it's actually happened. So yes, Gabumon with the Digiega of Friendship becomes Kenkimon. Once again, Gabumon loves becoming Kenkimon. Gilmon X with the Digiega of Courage becomes Flamedramon, which again makes a ton of sense because so does Gilmon. And then Salomon X becomes Oposumon with the Digiega of Kindness and Maeldramon with the Digiega of Destiny. What's interesting here is this actually deviates from regular Salomon. Regular Salomon can become Rabbitmon with a Digi-Egg of Friendship, Oryxmon with a Digi-Egg of Hope, which by the way I think works quite well as a Digi-Egg of Hope Digivolution for Salomon slash Gatamon. Obviously Nefertimon with a Digi-Egg of Light, I guess they just kept that from Gatamon, and then Oposumon and Maeldramon. So we're missing examples of Salomon X becoming Digimon that Salomon can arm a Digivolve to. This is probably just because they didn't think to include it or anything like that. Salomon X debuting after Zero Two, where a lot of these things may have been set into place. So I think it's still really interesting that technically Salomon X has a unique set of Digivolution separate from Salomon, although only because it has less than Salomon, not because it has different ones. And speaking of X Digimon, we are then going to go on to Kokuamon and Kokuamon X. Both become Rhinomon with the Digi Egg of Destiny in the card game. Uh, this one's just weird to me. I, I don't know who loves Kokuamon. Kokuamon is a good design, don't get me wrong. He's like a beetle taser. <laughs> Taser. But like, I just don't know who was like desperate for a Kakuamon on the Digivolution. I guess the card game was just throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. But yeah, he can become Rhinomon and uh, this is fine. Rhinomon is a really good Destiny armor, I think. I don't know whether it really works for Kokuamon. I think it works really well for say like a Patamon, which incidentally it is the Destiny and Miracles armor Digivolution for. I don't see the connection really between Kokuamon and Rhinos. I guess Rhino Beetles? Oh wait. Oh, is that what they're going? Going for. Okay, so Kokuamon is not a rhino beetle, it's got different horns, but you know what? I'm gonna choose to interpret that as it being rhino beetle becoming rhino mon, and therefore this is a 10 out of 10. <laughs> and then next we have Lopmon. I think we've actually gone over 10 here, but 10 in the title is better than 12 or 13 or whatever we're at. And that is that Lopmon can become Rapidmon Gold with the Digi Egg of Destiny. This is a little bit of a cheat because Kokomon, Wendigomon, and Telamon, etc., did show up in the Digimon Zero 2 movie movie, Hurricane Touchdown, but Lopmon to me is really more of a Tamers Digimon. Hell, you could argue that Terriamon has more time in Tamers and is therefore kind of a Tamers Digimon over a Zero Two Digimon, but I digress. I'm including Lopmon on the list because to me I'm thinking of the Lopmon from Tamers, also this is when these cards would have came out. Lopmon was not a particularly prominent Digimon in Zero Two, just its evolution line in that movie. That being said, I think this is really cool. I would maybe have liked an Antilamon gold mode, maybe? But I like that there's this one synergy. I am working on a video about Digimon who should DNA Digivolve but don't, and obviously Lopmon and Terriamon are going to be on that list at some point. Lopmon and Terriamon have become each other's Digivolutions, and in fact, in Super Cross Wars, they can become Gargomon together, which makes no sense. Talking about a proper DNA Digivolution here. But I do like the idea of Destiny making them both Rapidmon. Maybe we could get like a Browniered Rapid. Mon is a bit of a compromise. Lopmon is one of those Digimon that I wish got more armor Digivolutions. Terriamon too, to be honest with you. And so it's nice to at least see something represented, albeit in a card game, for Lopmon.
closing on into the end, and the penultimate Digimon I'm talking about today is the Lobomon slash Wolfmon from Digimon Frontier, can Armor Digivolve into Gargoylemon with the Digi Egg of Light, and this makes the most sense ever. <laughs> yeah, Lobomon to Gargoylemon, it's just perfect. Gargoylemon is obviously based on the Gargoyle, but it does have these kind of wolf-like elements, so you can literally just see Lobomon plus light, angelic, wings, etc. becoming Gargoylemon. This is one of the most perfect armor digivolutions we've had outside of Zero Two, and it's just in a card game. I don't know why I ignored this one last time, I guess because I hadn't made the dots for Gargoylemon, or I was just so shocked at Agunimon that I kind of glossed over it. But yeah, this makes a ton of sense to me. This makes way more sense than Flamedramon. As some people pointed out in the last video, if anything, Flamedramon looks like it should digivolve into Agunimon, but not so here. Wolfmon to Gargoylemon is just beautiful. And speaking of beautiful, <laughs> <laughs> the last Digimon I want to talk about today is Gardramon Gold. And now a lot of these examples, as I say, are in like a card game from 10, 20 years ago. It's retrofitted. This is actually a bit of a unique case. So kind of Wizardmon aside, a lot of these are just from this one card game. But Gardramon Gold... The little boy who could is a really recent example of Armadage Evolution within video game in Hacker's Memory. That's right, you work your way through Hacker's Memory getting the Digi Egg of Destiny and Miracles and you're gonna use it on your Vmon when you discover that Gardramon Gold could also become Golden Rapidmon and Magnamon. I love the Gardramon line, you guys know this of me and so it is just absolutely phenomenal that Gardramon Gold, a weird gold variant Digivolution of Solomon gets to become Magnamon and Rapidmon in Hacker's memory. This is why I love Digivolution. Because yes, at any point, any Digimon could armor Digivolve into Rapidmon or Magnamon. It's the fact that they specifically choose to represent Gold Gardramon to do it with that makes it fun or intriguing or just interesting to talk about. Bless you, Gardramon Gold. Big ups for the huge Digivolution options you get in Hacker's memory. This is the beauty of Digimon. These random side Digimon like Clear Agumon and Gardramon Gold variants that your average fan probably doesn't even know is different just gets Rapidmon and Magnamon. What a wonderful Digi world we live in. All right, guys, that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. First of all, I want to say I've had a few people asking. It's in the description of every video, but I've had some people asking to send me some stuff. You can. Khan EX PO Box 223 Colwyn Bay LL290FW. You don't have to send anything. And of course, huge shout outs to my channel members who have been amazing this month. Vaccinated Khan here, and there have been a lot of new channel members since I recorded this video. So shout outs to my my Digi Destin level channel members, Sad Uncle Callum, Tippy, Crimson Dragon Slayer, and Anthony Bontomassi. Digi Destin, you're absolutely amazing. My Tamer level channel members, including brand new Tamers, Kieran Nagel and Emily, as well as the amazing NQG420, John Hawkins, Mike McNulty, Theo Navarro, Reese Williams, and Carlos Gonzalez. And thank you to everyone in the Khan Club, and I'll see you next time when we go to Joel.